hello everyone. Uh, I'm Katsu, uh, chef of Coin. Uh, so, and uh, I would like to say a big thank you to the Coin Geek team to invite me to the such a wonderful event. Thank you very much. So uh, today, I would like to talk about the future of finance, which is the uh, Coin's goal to achieve in the future. So uh, I was working at the uh, SoftBank Group uh, for eight years, and I was involved in a uh, acquisition of Sprint. Sprint is the uh, largest, uh, one of the largest mobile carrier in U.S. And also the uh, acquisition financing of Arm Holdings, a uh, chief architect developer in U.K. So uh, after SoftBank, uh, I joined Coin as a CFO in uh, uh, October 2016. So, uh, so the, I like this chart. So, uh, this I this shows the uh, currency flows from the beginning to the currently. So, people use uh, stone at the beginning for the cur as a currency, and uh, this uh, stream is uh, going through. And uh, people use the gold, silver, and uh, uh, gold-based currency and the fiat currency. And we are now in the uh, cryptocurrency era. So we can, so everyone, even the government, cannot stop this stream. So uh, we are focusing on uh, uh, cryptocurrency-based financial services. So uh, let me introduce my company first, and then I would like to go to the uh, future of finance. So these are co-founders of our company. The Mike is the, our CEO, and uh, uh, Mario is the CTO. And uh, they met uh, in 2013. Uh, when they are in Singapore. So Mike was working at SoftBank Asia and uh, uh, Mario was working at the uh, Credit Suisse Asia as the CTO of FICC division. So they met, so the once, so when they met in Singapore, so uh, there are no uh, cryptocurrency exchange which has a uh, management team who has a global standard uh, experience in a financial institution. So that's why they would like to uh, found and build the uh, stay uh, secure the great uh, cryptocurrency exchange. So we founded Coin in 2014. So these are the uh, our senior management team, and uh, as you can see in the head of the many so the we have uh, ma so many old guys in the uh, who had a uh, good experience in uh, financial institutions. So, but uh, so they are very old. Not not myself. I'm uh, 32. So, but uh, <laughs> but other members are over 40, 50, 60. Yeah, but uh, they are they, their heart is very young and passionate. So to uh, build the great uh, crypto-based financial institutions. So and uh, also we have a great board members and great shareholders. Uh, and uh, so this guy, Mr. Tanaka. Mr. Tanaka is the current uh, senior advisor to Japan FSA. So, and also he was a, a vice chairman of the Tokyo Mitsubishi UFJ Bank. And also he was sitting at the board of the Morgan Stanley. So we have him at, on the, our board of, board of directors, which is very good thing. And also we have a great shareholders from the uh, Japanese famous venture capitals including the JAFCO and its SBI and uh, Mitsuto. Mitsuto is uh, founded by uh, Taizo Son. Taizo Son is the uh, younger brother of Masahoshi Son, the chairman of the SoftBank Group. And we are also, the, uh, the important thing is that we are audited by Deloitte, one of the big four. The we are the first client for Deloitte, which is very good thing. And then, so the we ran our business in the three years, and the last September, we could get the license from the uh, Japan FSA. And uh, we are, so the, the license exchange is now uh, 16 exchanges, but uh, uh, we are the uh, only global exchange licensed by Japan FSA. Other uh, licensed exchange is very domestic ones. And also, the, uh, we did the ICO uh, in last, uh, last November. Uh, that we could lay the money, uh, the 100, over 100 million US dollars uh, in three days. And uh, the very good thing is the our cash ICO 
is the first regulated ICO by Japan FSA. So uh, we could land our uh, cash ICO uh, within our uh, trading platform, Coinex, like called Coinex, so that we could uh, lay the money in uh, BTC, uh, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash, of course, and also uh, in addition to the cryptocurrency, uh, we could lay in JPY. So which is the first uh, regulated ICO. So the our ICO is very successful uh, example, but the currently the Japan FSA is stopping the any ICOs in Japan due to the CoinCheck hack. So uh, the we are the only uh, regulated ICO. So uh, the our service is, is uh, two core parts. Has two core parts. Uh, one is the uh, uh, cryptocurrency exchange. This this is our current business. And also, the, uh, we would like to expand our business to the blockchain-based financial service. This is the, uh, this is the uh, future of finance. So uh, blockchain, so the you guys, uh, I think that you guys have the same uh, uh, thinking. So blockchain is the next disruptive technology. Oh. Hmm? We're gonna, no, no movement. OK. So, uh, this is the comparison chart of the um, cryptocurrency and gold and uh, fiat currency, something. And the uh, cryptocurrency is uh, superior to existing uh, uh, fiat and uh, uh, payment services. So the cryptocurrency is much superior to existing uh, financial services. And also, the cryptocurrency has a huge potential and a huge uh, social impact the, because the Cryptocurrency has a uh, very uh, convenient access uh, because uh, crypt with cryptocurrencies, we can uh, send the money uh, very instantly. And also, the uh, uh, cryptocurrency price, as you can see in the crypt cryptocurrency price, uh, the crypt investment into the cryptocurrency can be the against the depreciation of the currency, fiat currency. Fiat currency is now all the all of the fiat currencies is now depreciating, but uh, only cryptocurrency price is appreciated. So the we believe the potential in a cryptocurrency to become a global uh, based currency. And um, cryptocurrency, there are the huge demand in a globally. So. Uh, like you guys, like uh, as you can see, uh, the in a especially in an emerging market, there are huge demand in a cryptocurrency, and also uh, we have uh, many uh, wallet users in the world. And a very interesting report is this. So this is the uh, UK government report in 2015 the about the money laundering risk. The interestingly, the bank is the most highest risk in terms of money laundering, but. Uh, Digital currency, cryptocurrency is the uh, lowest risk. So the, this shows the uh, global uh, great, uh, great post potential in a cryptocurrency. And also the blockchain and cryptocurrency is uh, impacting to the, uh, every industry. So that there are so many uh, players in the crypto and blockchain space now. And also the uh, blockchain can be used for the supply chain management and the IoT and the blah, blah, blah. So the blockchain and cryptocurrency is used uh, in a many uh, place. And also, so this is the, so sorry, so this is the price of Bitcoin. But uh, from the beginning, uh, the other than 2014, the price of Bitcoin is appreciating. Uh, in uh, and but uh, so this year and uh, 2014, so they are a huge hack. So 2014 uh, Mangox and uh, this year uh, Coincheck. So that's why the uh, price was uh, uh, declined. But other than that, the cryptocurrency price is going up, going up, going up. And also the other than Bitcoin, uh, we have uh, uh, the other coins price is also appreciating and uh, including the. Bitcoin Cash now the 22 billion US dollars, which is very great. So uh, the we see the cryptocurrency as a new asset class to Im uh, to be invested by the many people. Okay, so the, this chart showed the survey, our company's survey, uh, to the our users. So the 
like you, so as you can see, the cryptocurrency has a huge potential. Cryptocurrency, so many people see uh, cryptocurrency as a future currencies, and also the, they see the value in a cryptocurrency, and uh, so that's why they would like to invest in a cryptocurrency. So the market is uh, becoming aware of the value of the cryptocurrency as a new uh, investment asset. And in Japan, so the in April 2017, the Japan government uh, set the law uh, for the Cryptocurrency Act. And the FSA uh, now regulate the uh, cryptocurrency exchange. And uh, also Singapore government is following the Japan government to regulate the cryptocurrency exchange. So we have a, a Singapore subsidiary, so uh, we will follow this regulation in the future. And also, the, as, you can, as you know, the China government banned uh, every ICO, every cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, so, and uh, so the other governments, and also the Korea also, um, Korea government also banned the ICO. So, the, so we believe that Japan, is the, uh, Japan government is a very uh, aggressive uh, other, rather than the other countries. So that's why Japan is the early adopter of Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin. So the utility is expanding in Japan. So the, due to the, our big competitor, Bitfryer, uh, the Bitcoin payment is adopted in a uh, big camera. Big camera is the, uh, one of the largest uh, electricity appliance uh, uh, company in Japan. And uh, uh, the Bitcoin payment is adopted in every uh, big, big camera store. So I really respect the Bitfryer's effort to uh, expand the utility of the uh, Bitcoin. At the currency, and also the uh, in addition to the uh, startup venture companies, the big uh, financial institutions and the big uh, companies in Japan uh, is are also uh, interested in expanding their business into the crypto space. Like uh, MUFG Bank is uh, creating their own uh, currencies. And also tokens, right? And also the Lactan uh, said at the Mobile World Congress that they would like to do the ICO. But the largest hack stopped everything. So the in, gen in January, coin checks in due to going coin checks incident, uh, the order uh, our positive uh, stream uh, was stopped. So now the Japan government. Uh, very becoming very strict, and the, uh, they inspected to every exchanges, and also the uh, twelve exchanges were sanctioned, even the license exchange as well, and also the now the ninety pro nine, over ninety exchanges uh, are applying to Japan FSA, but that application was delayed, so the market is uh, very very uh, suspended. So, um, but uh, currently the, we see the, uh, some improvement in the crypto market, like uh, MUFG Trust Bank is now trying to improve in the uh, cryptocurrency custody service, and we are now talking with them to improve for the, our users. And uh, also the, uh, we see the uh, cryptocurrency's potential again so this just shows the size of the market. And uh, now gold market is uh, 7 trillion US dollars. But uh, we believe the cryptocurrency market will uh, surplus uh, in uh, three, four, five years. So uh, we cannot going back to the uh, fiat currencies uh, market. So we need to uh, expand our digital currency e token economy in the future. So this is the, our uh, exchange, Coinex. Coinex is the most advanced uh, exchange in the world. And uh, we are, our exchange is the most secured and uh, world class security measures. Uh, we have uh, world security measures. And uh, also the we have high standards for the development. So that's why uh, we see the, our uh, exchange potential. 
So this chart shows the, our business model. So the, in the stock market, the online brokerage service is tapping into the uh, exchange's liquidity, NASDAQ and NICE. So we would like to implement this uh, business model to the crypto economy. So we would like to uh, be an exchange of exchange. So uh, every uh, Bitcoin uh, crypto exchange or in the other FX brokers and online brokerage services companies uh, willing to tap to our liquidity. And then we would like to give, the, give them the technology and the liquidity so we can be a uh, Tokyo Stock Exchange and NASDAQ in the crypto space. So we are having a strategic partnership with the Gibraltar Stock Exchange Group, and uh, we are uh, providing technology to them, and we are providing the uh, liquidity to them uh, to tap to the Europe market. This is our uh, expansion to the Europe market. And uh, our transaction volume was the uh, highest in the world in the past. And also, we have a... a, a Another uh, product, crypto crypto exchange called Cryptos. So Cryptos has now listing uh, 70 over 70 tokens, and also uh, we uh, just launched the ICO Mission Control service. ICO Mission Control is the ICO platform for every token issuers. So uh, every token issuer can easily land their ICO within uh, our uh, Cryptos platform. Cryptos platform is doing the KYC, ML, all the, of all the users, and a very secure platform for the ICO. So that we, so that if you know the very good project, please let me know. Uh, we would like to do the ICO for them. So uh, I would like to exp uh, explain about the, our uh, ICO project called Liquid. So uh, can you please show the video? When Bitcoin first appeared in 2009, only a few visionaries understood a disruptive shockwave was about to hit the financial industry. In just eight years, Bitcoin's value has gone from zero to 70 billion, and the market cap of all crypto tokens combined is now over 140 billion. Thousands of individuals, businesses, and even industries have emerged, building their entire foundations on these decentralized crypto ecosystems. However, one fundamental element has been overlooked. That is liquidity. A company can have the largest asset base and the best run business, but if it runs out of liquidity, it is in trouble. Welcome to Liquid, a platform built to provide liquidity to the non-liquid crypto economy. Liquid is built by coin, a successful and profitable company with an impeccable reputation and financial industry pedigree. Our trading platforms and exchanges are the most advanced in the world with annual transactions over USD 12 billion. The Liquid platform is comprised of two core pillars. World Book offers a multi-market order book that aggregates the world's various liquidity sources into a single highly liquid tradable order book and supports trading in the quote currency of one's choice. It is built on top of Coin's existing matching engine, smart order routing, and cross-currency conversion engine technologies. Prime Brokerage offers direct market access, DMA, fiat management, crypto fiat credit facility, and trading tools which facilitates liquidity. Cash is the token that powers all services provided by Liquid and is poised to become the preferred token across upcoming and existing financial services as they migrate to decentralized platforms. The crypto economy is the way to economic freedom and Liquid Cash is your ticket. Register today to cash in. Okay, thank you very much. So the, this is our Liquid project. So Liquid project, Liquid platform has the two core uh, parts. One is the world book, the, which is aggregating all the other books of the, our partner exchanges. So the users can tap to the liquidity uh, through the our pr liquid platform to the for the uh, when they would like to tap to the liquidity of our partner exchanges, so and also we we will combine the prime brokerage service to enhance the liquidity pooling at the liquid platform. So the we will launch the liquid platform in the next month. So the stay tuned. So the our cash ICO. Uh, result is here and around 100 countries 
people and uh, around uh, 5,000 people uh, from the 100 countries uh, joined, participated our cash ICO, which is the, uh, we believe the ICO is the democratization of fundraising. So uh, any uh, fundraising method like IPO, the debt financing cannot uh, get the, the 5,000 people from the 100 countries. So we would also, the, we would like to uh, democratize the finance. So this is the future of finance. So the banks today, so they have a headquarter, large headquarter, and uh, many branches, and a very boring legacy system, and a paper and a coin. So this is bullshit, <laughs> right? <laughs> so the, we have in the world the better, faster, cheaper fintech services in the world. The crypto tokens and uh, payment services, investment services, insurance services, tr wire transfer, lending, and credit services. So we need to use the this kind of the better, faster, cheaper financial services in the future, and we need to expand. And uh, also the oh my. also the everything needs to go to mobile. So the there are so many unbanked people in the world, but uh, they have a uh, mobile devices. So mobile devices can be a uh, bank account uh, in the future. So the we need so the we believe the so we can develop the mobile-based blockchain uh, digital financing in the future. And also we see the huge potential in the uh, wire transfer based on the cryptocurrency. And uh, around the twenty. Uh, why are tr uh, the remittance, global remittance companies are using our exchange to tap to the liquidity of the uh, cryptocurrencies? So we are now uh, talking with them about the potential partnership for the global uh, wire transfer. And so the, this is the, our future of finance. So uh, we would like to develop the banking as a service. So we call this BIRS. And uh, we are now developing our own cash blockchain, cash DLT, the which have uh, uh, KYC ML uh, automation systems and our trading algorithms, and uh, uh, also the uh, customers, uh, so the basic data, blah, blah, blah. So on top of the blockchain, that every fintech companies can de easily develop the their own new services, and uh, we will provide the liquidity for the uh, this the such a uh, new fintech companies, and uh, our cash token will be the uh, basic currency for their new services. So we can uh, develop, build the uh, 100x uh, cheaper uh, uh, financial services based on the blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And as you know, the stable coin, the current stable coin is the USDT, Tether. And the growth of the crypto only exchanges is the growth of Tether. So that we see the, oh, sorry. So we see the uh, huge potential in a stable coin side. So the, uh, we are now uh, discussing with some partners to issue the uh, stable coins in the, uh, because we are the licensed exchange and we have a uh, much more clarity than the tether, so uh, uh, that we can provide much more transparent uh, stable coins in the world. And also, that we would like to bypass existing financial services. So that, as I said, the currently 70% are the non unbanked, non-banked people. And uh, with the new stable currencies, and uh, crypto-based financial services, we can uh, achieve the financial inclusion in the world. So we believe the future is here. Thank you very much. Thank you.